Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use Apple Clips. So Apple Clips is a free app for your iPhone or for your iPad. It works identical. They look the same, work the same. I'm going to be showing on the iPhone X today how to use it, but like what I said, if you have the iPads, it works completely the same too. This is a great simple app to create some fun little videos that you can share with friends, family, or in the classroom. Students can easily, if they have an iPad, go and record uh, maybe a field trip and to kind of display the information or do a research project very easily using Apple Clips. So let's get started today with Apple Clips. So I'm going to open up right away Apple Clips. You can see the icon on my phone and you can see it's facing me right away the default. I can switch the camera around if I wanted to record the camera that's recording me, but I don't want to do that. So let's just do a little test on how you record. You just hold down the big red button in the middle and it will record for as long as you hold it. So like this, this is how you record in Apple Clips. I let go. You can see now below there's a clip. I hit play. This is how you record in Apple Clips. I'll hit done. If you want to get uh, add some, get rid of that clip or add other things to that clip, just click on it and you can see where you have for your filters, your mute, delete, trim. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one right here. I could even save the individual clips if I wanted to uh, to my library. I'm going to record again, but this time I want to show you live titles. So the live titles is that speech button to the left of the uh, record button. So I'm going to click on that and I have all these different ones I can choose. Uh, for it. I'm just going to choose, you know what, I'm going to be, I'm just going to choose the second one here, kind of a boring one, but I'll choose it, hit X, and I'll do an example. This is how you use live titles. And now I'll just hit playback. This is how you use live titles. And you can see how it takes the what I say, puts the words right on it, quite accurate on it too. So uh, I haven't had too many mistakes when I've been practicing with this. Now, the next thing is I'm going to delete this one time, one time, one more time. And let's say if I have a little project I want to put together and I want it to be about spiders. So I'm going to do a recording. Today, I want to teach you about spiders. I'll let go. I'll hit play back. Today, I want to teach you about spiders. Now, maybe I want to trim that clip down. I want to take that word spiders off. So I click on my clip, go to trim. Now I need to click on the ends and have it turn yellow. I can kind of go back, pull back. I'm going to hit play. I want to get rid of the word Today, spiders. I want to teach you about spiders. And need to go a little bit more. Today, I want to teach you about I'll leave it like that. I'm going to hit apply. I could go from either ends. You can see I could just drag it from either end. I'll hit apply and done. I'm going to record just the word spiders, but I'm going to do a different shot this time. Spiders. Just like that. And now when I play it. Today, I want to teach you about spiders. Maybe I want to add a filter to that last one, that clip. I click on the clip, go to the star. And you can see the filters, the first thing that come up, I'll put this one, hit the X, hit play. Spiders. That shows me the individual clip. Now if I click it from the beginning. I'm going to teach you about spiders. So I could go out and take a picture. Let's say if it was a research project, take a picture of the spider and put that picture in. I didn't do that. But in my library, I do have a picture of a spider right here. And I'll just hold the record. So this is an image, but it's going to be, it will stay the same length of how long I record. And I'm going to say something. Spiders are an amazing creature. I'll let go. Now I'll hit play. Today, I want to teach you about spiders. Spiders are an amazing creature. So I have this little report coming along. The next thing, maybe I put in that image again. I'll go back to library, put it in again. I can have things move around. So maybe I wanted to talk about the spider's legs. So if I record, I can kind of squeeze up onto its legs or move the image around and to point something out like this. Spiders have incredible legs. Now I'll just, re and I'm going to click on that individual clip so you don't have to listen to the whole thing. Spiders have incredible And it zooms up just like that to the part. So at this time, maybe I want to go back and I can put something in. So if I hit the star, I can label some of these too. So maybe it's just that look 
I'll put that one in and I'll point to its legs uh, on it. I'll just put it there. You can move it all around on it. If I click in it, I can, I'll just type the word legs and I'll hit the X. So now I'm going to have this, if I play it from the beginning. Today, I want to teach you about spiders. Spiders are an amazing creature. Spiders have incredible legs. And again, I can put that in exactly right, but I could put it in at different points on it. Very easy to go back, delete a clip, add things back differently too. Also with the images, I can add the filter. So maybe if I want to go and make it, give it a little bit more of a comic book, you can see, click on this and it just changes the image uh, on it. So the kids or whoever's using this can have a lot of fun and in make individualizing their, uh, what they're trying to show you. Now, music is a key thing to put into uh, your video. If I look at the top right-hand corner, there's the music notes. I'm gonna click on that. And if you've purchased music on your, with your, uh, and downloaded, not through subscription, but, but if you've purchased it, you can use those ones if you go under my music. I'm just using soundtrack here, and I'm just gonna pick one here. Sure, I'll just pick that one. And if I hit play, Today, I there's a little bit of music in the background now. Spiders. Maybe not the best music, but if I hit play now from the beginning, I have a little bit of music in the background to this one. So and it's gonna play all the way through. Okay, I wanna teach you about spiders. You can do, if I go through to any clip, you can see there's a mute. So if I wanted to at a certain time not have the, any sound coming up, just go through and hit the mute on that too. Uh, now let's just do a couple other things here. Uh, I wanna show you scenes. Scenes is kind of a cool one here. So if I click on the first one beside the camera, scenes i have a green screen right beside me here but i just have it facing the wall and you can see how it cuts out things very easily i can go through and pick these different scenes i'll just pick this first one here and i'm going to hit select have fun recording with and i let go a little too early but i'll put this in you can see have fun recording and I stopped that, but very easy just to add those scenes and you have all these different things. At the very top, you can see on the left-hand corner, if you open it up, I have the project that I'm working with right now, or I could create a new project. And if you wanted to delete any projects, just make sure it's highlighted and you can see the garbage can that is right there too. So I'm just gonna go back to open here and you can share this very easily. At the bottom right-hand corner, you can see, you can text it to somebody, you can message it, you can email it you can save to video and you have this all done very quickly so definitely try out this app if you're an apple user or if you're in the classroom and kids are using the ipad get them to try this out to do some recording maybe telling you about what they've learned on something they're going on a field trip or maybe just exploring around the school they can put together a very fun presentation to share with a teacher or with their friends too so i hope you like this little tutorial today on apple clips it's remember it is free i do these weekly weekly tech tips and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this time, and I'll see you next week.